Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Back to tell us more about the festivities in the new year for the Hilton Head Humane Association, a WHHI-TV news partner, our favorite dog lady, and Humane <laughs> Association Executive Director, Franny Gertoffer, and Jim Schmidt, owner of Casey's, to tell us about the oyster roast to benefit the Hilton Head Humane Association. I love having you oh, on Oh, it's show. so much fun. It is so much fun, and I always get to have an extra guest, and yes. today we have Peter. Mm -hmm. How neat. So, Jim, I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about the event. Okay, we're having an oyster roast on Saturday, January 12th, to benefit the Humane Society. Okay. Um, and the actual dogs and cats will be there, so it's going to be an adoption event. Oh, okay. So, so it's we'll from 2 to 6. 2 to 6, and that's on Saturday the 12th? Saturday the 12th. Okay, and it's at? Casey's Sports Bar and Grill. Okay, and is it going to be outside? 37 New Orleans Road. It's outside in the parking lot. <laughs> okay. And also inside. I was going to say, if it's inclement weather. Catch 22 weather. and also Mike Anthony's are participating in the oh, event. Oh, fun. Yes. It's almost like a block it, party. It, 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 it really is. almost like a block adoption it's party. A, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's what we'll call it, but it's nice to see so many um, companies come together That's neat. and it, it was at their inspiration to do so and everybody sort of just chimed in right away and and we we're getting calls already from people to say how can I participate can, I'm like show up right. oh, yeah. Casey's, exactly. come on over because it is a nice community event and it's a nice time for the community the community to come together after the holidays and absolutely relax a little bit Great, great food. Great yeah. food yeah. at Casey's and um, will be great in entertainment too. Absolutely. Yeah, we have Low Country Boil will be the band playing. Oh, so you're even going to have music. Oh, yeah. And the dogs will be barking to the music. <laughs> I can't wait. Yes, big adoption <laughs> event for us. So we're, we have, you know, we have a, a, a probably about a dozen or more volunteers that will be showing the animals. So that will be a whole lot of fun. And can they adopt, a, for any, I don't mean to interrupt no, no, you, no. but can they adopt right from there? Yep, right on the spot. Right on the spot. Right okay. on the spot. We'll be so, we're all going to be packed and ready so that if they find, you know, their forever animal, then... Off it goes with them. Okay, that's mm -hmm. great. Oh yeah, you know, Peter excited. is available. And Peter is available. Well, be careful. He's here. He <laughs> might, you know, he might be a little sensitive. <laughs> yes. Well, he's well. adorable. Isn't he great? Yeah. Eleven weeks old, and he's our representative today. But he's there's a lover. so many animals. We are, we are completely full with the shelter dogs and cats, puppies and kittens. So we encourage people to come down before the event and take a look around, but definitely at the event as well. Right, so say they come to the event and there's maybe all everything has been adopted. So they can come to the shelter and there's obviously more to be adopted. Of course, but because Casey's is so close to the shelter, <laughs> we will have a definite <laughs> you're, you're one gonna out, have a, one you're back, gonna have a one out, going it, it, back it and just, forth. Well, you know, it's just so much great energy and so much fun, pe great moods, and, and these guys are just so supportive of the work that we do, and, and they're just real community-type people, so we're so, so, so grateful to them. Yeah. So it's a way to give back to them, you know, give back to the shelter, and then also have the whole community come out as well. Yeah, and Very just excited. like you said, I mean, everybody's been really going at it for the holidays yes. you know the new year's here just a nice right. nice time to re just unwind and relax and it's going to be a beautiful day and it's going to be a yeah. beautiful and day and actually in hilton yeah. head <laughs> and actually um the, the company across the street from y'all um art of massage will be there too with their chairs oh. just in case you need a little bit more relaxation that's wonderful so they're donating their services to be a part of it as well that's neat. and then um our friends out at hardyville pet resort are bringing their pet pig Glitzy. Glitzy, who's always How the main cute. attraction, Aww. and Glitzy um, is actually very good friends with all the dogs too. So it's they all go together. So it's really a lot of fun. That is a mm -hmm. lot. That is really cute. really a lot of fun. That is really cute. So are you looking for volunteers? Always looking for volunteers because not only to help us with the animals, but obviously to pack up to get to the event and to use the transport as because we're anticipating a really good adoption event. So to move animals from the shelter over to Casey's as well. So that we need people to do that also. But then also just adoption facilitators to help us, 
you know, with the paperwork and with packing the animals up if they do get adopted. So right. there's a lot of work to be done. So whether they're holding on to an animal or helping us with something specific, I mean, uh, the more the merrier. So Franny, they can help just, they can volunteer to help just for this event or they can actually volunteer for other events with the Humane Association. Absolutely. I know you guys always have something going on. And in fact, what's next for the association? And then what's next is that we have a big event um, with Pineland Station, okay. our Valentine's Valentine event, which will be on February the 9th, which is our... Well, don't give too much information. Okay, I'll be come back. back. I'll talk, but it's a little <laughs> teaser, and it's already well into the planning process, and Dr. Bonnie Rothwell and the Pineland merchants do such a fantastic job, so it's, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, sixth that, annual. That's a sixth mm -hmm. annual. And what date was that? That's going to be the 9th, but maybe next time we'll talk about that. Yeah, we will talk about that <laughs> and a, a lot more. So tell us a little bit about Peter. Okay, Peter is came in as a single uh, puppy. Uh, a gentleman found him on the road. Aww. So, you know, sometimes it's just unfortunate they just get away from, you know, their litter or away from the mother. Or, or unfortunately, there is, you know, just some dumping that goes on as yeah. well. So, luckily, he was found by a very nice gentleman and came in. Um, about 11 weeks old, very healthy puppy, very friendly. Yeah. Um, really, he's a lover. Di didn't have any health issues at all. So um, he's already neutered, microchipped, and up to date on his puppy shot. So he, really good puppy and ready to go. Playful, likes the dogs, likes the cats. Likes me. Likes <laughs> likes Jim. <laughs> Jim said Jim everybody said likes the show. Jim, no. He's going to probably take Peter home. Right. So Peter oh. may not be there. <laughs> but, but, he may not. But see, the whole thing with Casey's and Jim and everybody else is that we have to keep him under control because he'll take every animal that we bring. So, you yes. know, he's, that's, that's so, a problem. I mean, that's why it was so easy. Jim, quickly, the oyster roast again is? Saturday, January 12th, 2 to 6 at the New Orleans Plaza on New Orleans Road. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks. And we will we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.